with the ETF managers. Hey, Bob. Hello, Carl. Uh, the big question is, can you pick stocks using artificial intelligence? A lot of people are trying. It's the hot area on Wall Street right now. Here's Sam Masucci. He's trying itself. He's got an ETF out, AIEQ. Now, Sam, you took 6,000 stocks, and out of that, you pick 100 right now, and you're outperforming the markets. What's the secret sauce? What, what are you involved in picking stocks? What's the criteria? So the secret sauce is that we call 6,000 stocks every single day with the benefit of an artificial intelligence program developed by a 20-year veteran of Intel. It narrows down 6,000 to 100 that they believe have the best buying opportunities. We then execute the trades, and we're outperforming the market considerably. When you say best buying opportunities, <clears throat> what's the criteria? Is it a value orientation, a momentum orientation? I mean, you've got use some terms that we can sure, understand. Sure, it can be either value or momentum, but it's based by stocks that it believes have the greatest short-term opportunity for growth and are being under-purchased by the market. It looks at 10,000 to a million piece of information on every stock. I just want to show you what your weightings are right now. The, your, the stocks that you own the most right now, Alphabet, Texas Instrument, NASDAQ, Amazon, Brown, Foreman. It looks like a, a fairly diverse group, and it changes all the time. So next month, it may be completely different. Yes, the machine is agnostic to the industry group. Where it, where it sees the greatest value, that's where we purchase the stocks. So the important thing is <clears throat> dynamic changing. The algorithm doesn't change, but it learns. It's a machine learning where it actually will, will, will change what kind of stocks it's picking. Yes, and you can see that since we launched yeah. the fund. The fund's about a year old. It's learning depth of book, uh, liquidity in each stock, the cost of transacting a stock. All of that, along with millions of pieces of data, are incorporated in its buying decision. If everybody incorporated this methodology, though, you wouldn't outperform, right? I mean, the, the idea is based on the idea you're looking at a certain way that nobody else is looking at it. You're picking up criteria that no one else is looking at. This is the concern with artificial intelligence. If everybody started using the same methodology, you wouldn't outperform. Well, they would, but you all, it's also about being able to crunch reams and reams of data that individuals just wouldn't be able to do on a daily basis. Yeah, you've got a new one out that I want to point out. Jim Rogers <clears throat> is partnering with Masucci right. here for a new one called the AI Global Macro. Here you're picking country ETFs. Yes. And he's helping you pick these ETFs. But again, there's an artificial intelligence uh, 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 overview on it. So AI was applied to Jim's years and years of investing knowledge. It now picks global countries. It's a 30-day index that's rebalanced. And all of it is based on artificial intelligence taking advantage of Jim Rogers' many, many years of successful investing. Just want to point out, we've got to let you go. You're also in charge of the cannabis. You've been quite an innovator in these ETF businesses. Cybersecurity, you see there, the video game yes. ones. How are they 70, all doing? They're all doing well. We're over a $3 billion asset manager. 75% of our funds are first to market. ETFMG.com for information on all of them. Sam Masucci, always a pleasure to talk Thank to you. you. ETF Managers Group, quite an innovative uh, organization.